Hey guys, thanks for checking in back over here at the channel. Well, today I have in front of me my two vets of Recon version two tripod. Now, if you're not real familiar with two vets, go ahead. Uh, you can go into my description. I will leave a link to the webpage, but check this company out. This is a veteran owned um, business here in the United States, uh, producing high quality equipment, primarily these tripods. Now I've got this recon in front of me and though I don't have a firearm mounted up in it, there will be plenty of firearms mounted up in this. I've got an optic up in here right now. I'm going to talk a bit about this tripod today, uh, today, but I'm going to be doing quite a bit of content with this thing. But today's talk is really going to be something along the lines of why you might consider a high quality tripod like this and sort of a look at one of these things as if you were in the store looking at this. Now, two bets tripods are not something that you're going to find in big box stores. So some content like this, you may find useful providing you a little bit of just general insight that maybe the web page or the advertising pages don't have uh, just a kind of a general guy kind of talk like I'm going to do with this thing and uh, sway you towards considering something like this versus one of the bigger name ones that you find at those big box stores. Now, in my case, I've got an optic mounted up in this thing right now. Uh, you can put a camera up in this thing. You can put your spotting scope in this, as well as your firearms and anything else that you really want to hold steady. Now, the great thing that I really like about this tripod, now this is, the, again, the Recon V2, is how light this thing is. This is a very light tripod, considering how well it's made, how sturdy it's made, and how much is going on in this unit up here, the important part of this thing, in my opinion. So I've got this... Um, night scope up in here and I'm going to be doing a little bit of uh, filming and getting some content for some um, other videos that I'm doing um, but I'm going to move this thing around a bit and let you guys see how this ball head works and some of the different options that you can get for one of these uh, particular tripods now with this one this is really kind of nice I don't know if I can move this around where we can see it on the camera but we've got several knobs there's a big knob right here let's spin it around you guys can see a couple knobs right here um, this whole head right here um, swivels very smooth and with this other knob right here we can actually lock this thing very tight in place now if you're doing photography or if you're out doing your precision shooting you're in um, some matches and you want to lock this thing down or even a hunting type situation this is a nice feature uh, there are numbers on here that you can orient this thing as far as uh, degrees and angles and things if you wish to do that uh, in my case I'm not doing too much with that uh, but I am doing a lot with spinning and moving this thing around uh, these other knobs that we have right here this is a real nice setup we've got this large knob that allows for a quick and massive lockdown of this ball head right here so we can pivot everything on angles fore and aft uh, we've got slots here you know if you're shooting down into a slope uh, if you're hunting out west, you're going to be shooting down at that mule deer. You can angle this thing down and allow the head of this ball to get you those angles that you really want. Nice feature, and I've seen some tripods where they overlook that. Uh, this allows you to move this thing around, and bam, you can lock it fast. Now, if that critter's moving, the thing you're taking pictures of is moving, taking pictures of through your rifle scope that you want to shoot, with this here uh, day night scope uh, there's also a knob right here that allows you to loosen it up a little bit so you can move it and just precisely kind of tension it a little bit now, I'm not using the fancy terms and I'm sure uh, two vets has actual terms for all these knobs maybe I could do my homework and look that stuff up but this is my initial video uh, talking about this two vets tripod and I am extremely impressed with this thing so far uh, I elected to go with this uh, saddle type uh, setup on the top. Now they do uh, have the setup for the Arca rails where they'll clip into a long rail on the bottom of your firearm. You know, I've elected to go with this route, though I know it's not as sturdy. Um, I like this setup because I've got a lot of different firearms or different equipment that I'm going to want to clamp into this thing. I may use uh, have my son out using this thing with his firearm or using with mine or just going out and getting some footage like this. Uh, to loosen this up. Most of these, regards to the brand, are generally uh, real similar as far as how you operate them. Now this has got a nice <clears throat> nice loosening and tightening stuff here, and we've got rubber grip in here. It's not going to mar up your firearm or whatever equipment you may put in there. 
Um, but this also has a quick disconnect. So we can just disconnect this thing right here and take this whole thing off. And there you go. So if you're wanting to run the Arca rail or something of that sort, you've got your quick connect. This is kind of like if you think about a bicycle, your mountain bike, taking off your front wheel or raising and lowering your seat. Quick and simple, easy to do. Now, the feature that is really nice about these compared to that other brand tripod that you might see in some of my content is this right here. So watch this. See how quick that is? See how that turns? That is just a quick turn and you are locked or unlocked to adjust your height. So just one turn, boom, you're locked and done. I find that feature of anything about this, I mean, aside from kind of a carbon fiber nut, carbon fiber barrels and stocks and stuff, I just dig carbon fiber. But this has got a very nice high quality and a pretty cool pattern weave. I'm not sure what you even call that kind of a carbon fiber weave, but lightweight, high quality carbon fiber um, legs that are extremely, if you could polish carbon fiber to that, you somehow polished that carbon fiber because these legs, you don't need any kind of a lubricant or nothing. These things um, smooth, quiet, uh, move up and down and really just work great. I have yet to find, well, I'm going to take that back. I was going to say I've yet to find any kind of a flaw or a change or something that I may recommend to this. I'll talk about that in a second here. Uh, but let's keep talking about the legs on this thing. So the legs are adjustable on this. And the way that you do this is, I'm trying to get this where you guys can see it on here. Um, there's some notches up on here. And I don't know if I've got enough lighting going right now, but there are three different settings on here for this thing. And I'm trying to see if I can get it where you guys might be able to see this on here. And I can't get it to do it. But you simply move this little tang here and it allows you to <clears throat> put these legs out at different angles. So you can adjust your height with this based on the angle of the legs or the length of the legs. And that's a nice feature. These things are extremely strong, uh, regard, uh, whether it's the hardware we're talking about, uh, these machined out uh, heads to the legs or the carbon fiber legs themselves. This entire thing is made really nice. Um, these are super simple to use, and, and if you, I don't know if I can get them where you can see it, the machining of all these components, it's really nice. This thing will support a ton of weight. Um, Two Vets offers an ingenious little tent that goes around these tripods, and that's something different. I hope to maybe um, mess around with and use that as a blind of some sort here for some predator hunting. Um, but let's get back to what I think is the one thing that this thing needs. I'm gonna hold these legs up real quick here. And get them on the camera here without making a big mess. All right, turn them in. And I kind of got them screwed up a little bit. Here's the whole thing right here. It weighs nothing. Uh, there's our name of it here. This thing is a high quality and a high dollar piece of equipment that you're gonna want to probably take care of. Now, yeah, you can just throw this thing in the back of your trough and you can throw it around in the field. Though generally carbon fiber is not as receptive to hard hits and bangs and things without cracking it or scoring this stuff in some way. Um, but this is a precision piece of equipment more than just a heavy weight banging around tool that we use, you know, sandbag or a shooting stick or something. This is a kind of a precision piece of equipment. You probably want to get a case, a bag, or some sort of a thing that you can protect this with as you're getting this thing transported out into the field. Uh, they do offer slings and things like that. You can put this on your back and carry it. But this is a, a very high quality and <clears throat> a piece of equipment that I think is gonna last you a long, long time. And having a bag or a case or something to put it in is gonna really help protect your investment. So aside from that, um, I have yet to find any kind of a flaw with this thing. Um, headed out doing a little bit of content creation with um, some optics and things clamped up in it, and I'm really liking this. Uh, the next content uh, content talk today that I'm going to be producing with this thing is a whole series of stuff. You're going to see this two vets tripod in a load of material that I'm producing, whether it's the different firearms that I'm working on, the different optics, or just a slew of different parts that I've been um, working on testing with other veteran-owned companies. Uh, you're going to see this thing kind of going through the rigors. 
and I think it is up to the task. This is a high quality piece of equipment versus the other things that I've been dealing with as far as tripods. And I am certain that this piece of equipment is going to hold up better. It'd be easier and less frustrating for me. Uh, now these do, they do scale in, you know, on the wallet book, a, you know, a decent amount more than some of the big box, just general tripods that you may come out there. But much like uh, some of the optics, the firearms, and the other outdoor equipment that we use. Um, some of the stuff does cost more, uh, but the things that you plan on using more frequently or in a precision type situation, uh, spending a little bit more in the long run is going to give you a, a better um, results with what you're looking for, whether it's hitting that animal, animal with a uh, precise shot, getting that photography nice, or whatever you're doing. Um, but there, I am rambling. Again, I try to keep these short, and I'm looking at my clock right there, and I'm running along at 11 minutes. Uh, but this is the initial content on the 2 vet Recon V2 setup with uh, the saddle mount for different firearms here. So keep checking back in. You're going to see these tripods. Um, kind of a general review. This is my version of doing an unboxing. You know, pulling it out of the box itself is... Who needs to see that, right? This is just kind of, if you're looking at one of these things, you're seeing how light it is, you're seeing how I'm moving these things around. Um, kind of like what you might do in the store if you're looking for one of these. So check back soon. You're going to see this 2Vets tripod in action. And keep on shooting.